Hey everyone and welcome to another GTA Online guide here on the channel. In this one I will show you how you can easily complete the Ghost Exposed event to unlock both the Ghost Exposed outfit and livery for the Brigham vehicle along with a nice stack of cash and RP. So there are 10 ghosts to photograph in total and each one has a specific spawn point or two and a set time that they will appear each night. Thankfully, they are all in the city this time around, and unfortunately, based on how the spawning system works, it is impossible to complete this all in one night because one of the ghosts will only appear after all the other ones have been photographed. Now, I do recommend using the Oppressor Mark II for this because we are going to be rushing to each of the locations very quickly, and if you don't have a Mark II Oppressor, the Sparrow or Buzzard could also work just fine. So the first spawn point will be at the church at 1900 hours, and I'm just using military time so that it's easier to compare it to the in-game 24-hour clock. And it's either going to spawn at the tip of the roof here, or at the little island in the cemetery section. Moving on, our next spawn point is at the underpass in the homeless camps at 2000 hours. The ghost will appear next to the couch here, or right behind this spot next to the blue tarp by another couch. And by the way, most of these ghosts will only spawn in for an hour in game time unless I state otherwise, because there are a couple of exceptions to that. Next, we'll be heading to El Bureau Heights, and the ghost will spawn on top of the big metal structure there, or on the little sign next to the sidewalk at 2100 hours. After that, this one is fairly simple. It's on top of the bridge closest to the airport. The ghost will appear on one of the two sides here at 2200 hours. Right after photographing the bridge ghost, I do recommend that you book it to the next location here because it's quite a ways away. And it's going to spawn in the little tower there at 2300 hours. Technically, there are two spawn points for this one, but they will both appear in the tower. So if you're just looking there, you'll see it either way. The midnight ghost will only appear after you have photographed all of them. So now we can just wait until 1 a.m. for the next one to spawn, which is good because it gives us some time to travel all the way down to Cypress Flats. And if you stand exactly where I do here, you will see both spawn points in the same frame. It's either going to be up the ladder next to the door there, or on the hook in the background. Moving on to the 2am ghost, it's in Rockford Hills, and again this is an easy one where you can just stand where I do here and see both spawn points at the exact same time. It's either going to be on the left or right balcony. Oddly, there is no 3am ghost, so we can take an extra hour to get to the next one which is at 4am in game time, and this one is probably the trickiest one to get. It's in Little Soul, and both of the spawn points are in this tower here, but it's a little tricky to get a vantage point for the photo, so you might have to readjust where you take the photo from depending on which spawn point you get. Mine, unfortunately, was facing the road, so I was able to just take it from the ground floor on the road. And for the last of our regular ghosts, at 5am in the rundown motel near the casino, if you just stand exactly where I am here, you will see the ghost spawn at either the left or right side of the second story walkway, and that should put you at 9 out of the 10 ghosts photographed. For our final ghost, we will have to wait until midnight the next day to photograph it, and this is actually the ghost of Dom Beasley, and you find him at the place he died in single player falling to his death at the base of the Landak Dam.
And once you photograph all the ghosts, you will receive a bonus 50 grand, making the total earnings $450,000 from this ghost hunt. And both the ghost exposed outfit and livery for the Brigham, if you didn't do the event last year, will unlock. I hope you guys found this guide helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.